So today I am doing my 2014 yearly favorites and Chester is just not into it, I guess. I have a lot here in my vanity to talk about and I don't want this video to be like forever long like I feel like everyone else is that I'm watching, which isn't a bad thing, but I just don't want to keep you guys here all night. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go ahead and jump right in and get started. I will tell you that I probably won't have a monthly favorites up. This kind of will substitute as that. Um, just because a lot of this stuff has been stuff that I've also been loving, honestly, just the past, like, like few, like, honestly, like, six months, probably. And then a lot of it also has obviously been all year. But, um, yeah, so I've just been constantly kind of been using the same thing. So I don't want to bore you with a uh, monthly favorites when there's going to be a lot of repeats in there, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump in and get started. Um, I will start kind of from the bottom, um, if that makes sense. I'm going to start with brushes. I have to shout out the Beauty Blender, and this one is very, very dirty. I des definitely discovered the Beauty Blender last year, and I love them. Like, they're awesome. You can get them at Sephora. Um, they come in, like, black, bunch of colors. Anyways, they're just awesome for applying your makeup flawlessly. I have used these in a lot of videos and highly recommend them. Um, I also couldn't make this video without shouting out Diva brushes. Now, these are a kind of end of the year favorite, so I haven't been using them all year, but they're amazing, you guys, and they're so, so, so affordable, and they're just awesome. Such great quality. I've been using them for a couple months now, and I can honestly tell you that they're, they don't shed. They're so dense. They're just awesome. So I will have these linked down below if you're interested and you want to check them out. I'm not affiliated. They did send me the brushes, but I'm not getting paid to tell you guys about them or anything like that. I honestly just am in love with them. And I just love the packaging. I love like this rose gold. I just think it's so pretty. So yeah, have those linked down below if you're interested in checking those out. So for primer, I tried out a few primers this year, but the main one that I really stuck to was the Benefit Professional. I really, really love this. I know that there's been a lot that have came out recently that people have said are better. I haven't tried many of the newer ones, but I can say that this is a tried and true for me and one that I just love and that I can imagine that I will constantly go back to because it's just really good. Great at obviously minimizing your pores. It's the main thing I look for when I look for primers and this does a great job of it. So recommend that for sure. So for foundation, I just have two that I really wanted to mention because I love foundation. I, I love trying new foundations, but I wanted to tell you guys about the two that I think are the best and the ones that I definitely kept going back to. So the first one is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous uh, Fresh Complexion Foundation. I have a whole review um, and demo and first impressions video on this foundation, which I will link down below. I feel like there's going to be a ton of linking down below in this video, but um, it'll be down there if you want to see more about this. I won't talk about it too much. I will just say that it's a really, really, really awesome foundation and it's just such an affordable price. You can't beat it. So I love that. And then this one is the EX1 Invisible Wear Foundation. You can get this on lookfantastic.com. I'm not exactly sure where else you can get it, but I will link that website down below. It's really inexpensive um, for the quality of foundation it is. It's I think it's like maybe $13.00. You have to order it from, I think, like Australia, but it equates to around $12 or $13. And there's usually free shipping and sometimes like coupon codes. So it's really inexpensive and it's just so awesome. I have this in a few different colors. Um, I alternate between like 100 and 200 and I mix them. That is the one downside about the foundation is that it doesn't come in a, a lot of colors. The range is really, really small. But if you can find your color, it's an awesome foundation. I highly recommend it. It's just, it just makes your skin look so flawless. I'm wearing it today. I love it. It's just my go-to. I'm sorry if you guys can hear Chester over here just making a ruckus. He just, he just is being crazy. Uh, I will say I don't think I have like a set thing for every category of makeup. I'm like thinking of like powder. I don't really have a set thing for powder. So there are, there might be a few things missing um, in categories just because there wasn't something that I thought, oh my god, I have to tell them about it. These are like absolutely the products that I highly, highly recommend. So that makes sense. Okay, so for blush, I have two blushes. The first one has been so, so loved this year. This is the Balm Down Boy, and it's just the prettiest baby pink blush, and it's just, if you guys, that's kind of the true color right there. It's just so gorgeous. I use this all the time. I've put a pretty big dent in it, but I haven't hit pan yet. Uh, I just love all of the Balm products that I've tried so far. I'm actually going to tell you guys about another one in a second. They're just awesome, and this is the best color. I have a couple blushes and this is my favorite from them of the colors. So love that. This one is by Model Co. And I think this is a UK brand. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. And this is in the blush Amaretto Sunset number three. It's just a gorgeous kind of burnt orange 
reddish color. I just love this. It's so pretty in the fall. It's gorgeous in spring and summer. It just, I just love it. It's so, so pretty. And I got this like in a beauty box, so I'm not really sure they sell this in drugstores or if it's a high-end brand. I honestly don't know much about it, but if you guys know, definitely educate me because I'd love to know more about this brand because I love this blush and it's just beautiful. It's so stunning. Oh my gosh, Chester is making so much noise. I just want to bring his neck. Baby boo, can you stop? So for makeup palettes, I chose two. Um, I tried to limit it because I could have I could have picked a few to talk about, but I wanted to tell you guys about the ones that I really use the most out of, I think, this year. Um, the first one is the Naked 3 palette. I love this one and the first one the most. I haven't gotten as much use out of my second one, but the third one out of all three is my ultimate favorite. It's just because it has the most perfect amount of, like, mattes and shimmers, and I just love the rose tone um, shadow colors. I just think it's just so unique, so pretty. Every time I wear it, I just just love how it makes my eyes look and their shadow just fell out, which is not good. <laughs> Need to look up again. These are just my favorite. I just just love this and I've gotten a lot of use of this. I can see like really big dents in a lot of them, which tells you that it is loved. So that's the first one. And the second one broke. The lid just broke off of this one day. I don't even know how. I think it might have been when I was traveling. I can't get it back together, which makes me really sad. But this is the Too Faced um, Chocolate Bar Palette. It's so good. This was also a purchase that I made a few months ago, so it's been more towards the end of the year. But it's just, it had to be mentioned because it's just so stunning. I always reach for this. It has amazing, amazing matte colors, the perfect sh uh, shimmery lid colors. These burgundy colors are like my favorite. A good matte highlight color and a good shimmery matte color, uh, or highlight color, I mean. They're just so gorgeous you guys and i haven't gotten the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette let me know if you guys have that and if you recommend it because i'm kind of going back and forth about it i don't really i feel like i just don't need another palette because i just have so many it's like i want to get through some of them before i keep buying more but um i love this so much i feel like i would love that one too so anyways yeah if you guys don't have this i definitely recommend it okay for concealer there have been two amazing standout concealers for me this year i used to be really tried and true to the mac studio finish concealer for blemishes which I love, but it's always a hassle to order it online because I don't have a Mac near me. And I felt like I was running through it very quickly. So this is a great substitute and I think it's just as good. This is the Sonia Kashuk Hidden Concealer Palette. This is in the color Light. And I love it because you get um, two different shades that you can mix to make your perfect shade. You get a powder, which I don't really use, and then the green shade, which is awesome for counteracting redness. So I really love this. It's like $10, I think, which is a great deal because you're getting four concealers in one. So love, love, love this for blemishes. And then this has been a standout product for me for under eye concealers. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Be right back. I'm going to go kill my cat. I love these, you guys. They're so affordable. You can... <sighs> like he hears me talking and he can't just sleep like he always does. You can get this like on Amazon for a few dollars because I know it's kind of hard to find. It literally runs like four or five dollars on Amazon with free shipping. <sighs> I'm so sorry you guys. I'm gonna kill you. And this is just the best concealer that I have found for underneath my eyes. It's really really similar to the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I think the coverage is so awesome. It doesn't kick up or anything like that. <laughs> I think he's gonna lay down finally. Um, doesn't crease. It's just so good. Highly recommend. For eyeliner, um, I really switch back and forth between eyeliner pretty much all the time, all year. I go from liquid to gel. Um, yeah, I just gel liquid the pin. I just switch back and forth. But this has been, I think, one of the favorites that I've had for the entire year. And this is the Kat Von D um, liquid, or what is it called? Poetica Liner Eyeliner tr and Trooper. And it's just a really amazing pin. Um, that does an awesome job at creating the line, very easily, very smooth, just really, really good. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's very black, it speaks for itself, it's just really good. I know a lot of people talk about this, and that there's a reason why it's awesome. For highlighters, I have to mention two that you guys I'm just so in love with and have kind of started me down this road of like just highlighter love. Like, I just want to buy all of them that I find now because I'm just like obsessed with highlighters now, which is bad because most of them are pretty expensive, the ones I want. Um, but the two I'm going to mention that I've found that I'm just so in love with, the first is the Balm Mary Luminizer. And this is just so gorgeous. You can see it doesn't even look like I've used that much of it, but I've been using this this whole year. And it's just the perfect um, shimmery 
highlighter you can just see like how shimmery it is it just gives you the perfect glow I love it and then this is my like all-time favorite the end all the be all like just amazing this is the Becca highlighter in opal and oh my god you guys it's just perfect I want all of these now because the moment I put this on my face I was just like ah <laughs> it's just so good so I'll try to swatch it it's like a very champagne -y, um color it just like it doesn't even do it justice it just looks yeah, I don't even think that's really doing any justice. Anyways, it's gorgeous. You guys have to check these out. Swatch them if you are in a Sephora or Ulta. They're just amazing. They're definitely worth the high price tag because they're awesome. Okay, for eyebrows, I really think I found my eyebrow routine this year. I know I've mentioned that I've struggled with my eyebrows, and that's definitely true. Um, but this product, I think, has helped a lot. This is also something that I purchased more towards the end of the year. But I had to mention it because I, I like have already repurchased this twice and I just feel like I won't ever go back to using anything else for a while at least. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in soft brown. This is also another product that's been heavily talked about. Heavily. That's a word right. Heavily talked about. Um, and there's a reason why. It's so good. I love that it comes with a brush in the end because I always brush my eyebrows before I put them on because they're kind of long so they can be brushed and then I love using the pencil side obviously to fill them in this pencil is very very fine so if pencils have scared you before about filling your eyebrows in like they did me this is awesome because the the tip um the pencil tip is like really really fine so you just make short little strokes and it just fills it in perfectly so love this for the lips um I just have a couple that I really want to mention so this has been like the year I feel like for matte lips. I have fallen in love with matte lip colors. I feel like every time I go to buy new lip shades, I just want to buy matte ones. I don't even care about anything else. So all of these except for one are matte and that, there's a reason why. I'm just obsessed. So I have to mention this line. This is the Maybelline um, matte line and I have three of the colors. I have Divine Wine, um, Lust for Blush, and Touch of Spice. I'm wearing Lust for Blush right now. I love it. Literally, this has been on my lips for like two weeks straight. I just can't get enough of it. I love all of these colors, you guys. They're so, so stunning. I'll swatch all of them for you guys up close so you can see them. But they're just the, the just perfect matte shade. So affordable. So nice on your lips. Not drying at all. So that is Less for Blush, Touch of Spice, and Divine Wine. So the next lipstick I have to shout out is the Kat Von D lipstick in Lolita. I know a lot of people talk about the liquid, I think, liquid lipstick or some whatever that's called, the one that's liquid in, in a long tube. People talk about that all the time. Um, I got the lipstick version of it because it was on sale because I guess they read the packaging. So they still have this color. It's just a new packaging. But you guys, this color is to die for. It's so gorgeous. It's the perfect just that shade that has just been so popular this year that's it right there it's just amazing and I just am in love with it um, and then these two have also been ones that I've really been loving this whole year this is the Revlon color burst matte balm stains if you guys have been following me for a while you know I love like all of these the, the regular ones and the matte ones this is just such a great line and I can't recommend them enough this is in the color elusive which I love and it's very actually similar to the one I'm wearing from Maybelline in Lust for Blush that's it right there, and that's less for blush. You can kind of see those similarities. These are just awesome, so affordable, and just really great. I've noticed a trend that a lot of my stuff is, well, I'd say like half is pretty affordable, which I try to I try to do, you know, a balance with high end and in drugstore, because I think you can find a lot of really awesome stuff at the drugstore. So um anyways, off subject. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I love these two. I have a few of these, but this is the favorite that I love this year. It's in the color Prague. And I think this is just such a gorgeous color for any time of year. It just is the perfect, just matte pink. And um, that's it right there. It's just one of my favorites. I just love it. I have to talk about the MAC Painterly, or no, Soft Ochre Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. I always think I have Painter Painterly. They're very similar in colors. This one's Soft Ochre. I think this one's a little bit more yellow. Um, I just love these for primers, for your eyes, for your eyeshadows. Um, they last a really long time. They are expensive. I think they're under $20, but they last forever, and they're just awesome. I mean, I've had this one, you guys, literally, like, probably a year, year and a half. It's been a while, and it's lasted me. Like, I've barely made a dent in it, and it's going to last me a long time. So, 
Um, I really like these. They take a very long time to dry up. I have had some dry up, but it's taken them a long time to dry up. So I definitely recommend these. Um, they just make my eyeshadows pop and stay on longer. Just awesome stuff. For skincare, this has been something that I've also kind of recently discovered, but I had to mention because I just feel like I'm going to be repurchasing it for a while. This whole line I really like. I just ran out of the serum, and I love the serum. It's the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. This is the day cream, but like I said, the serum comes in a bottle, and that's awesome too. Um, I just love these because it's said to help minimize your pores and just keep your skin young and all of that. It's kind of designed for my age group, which I like. Um, and I just love this. It's It feels really nice in the skin. It sets in very well. Um, it's very light and it's just a really good, I think, day cream that's affordable or day night cream that's affordable and that you can find in the drugstore. And that's perfect for me for my age. And I just, just highly recommend this stuff and this whole line I just really like. This has been the year for me that I've really gotten into eye creams and I have tried a few, but this has definitely been the one that I've noticed like results with. And I have to talk about it. It's the Shiseido Benefit Benefiance. I think that's that's how we're gonna say that. Um, Wrinkle Resistant 24 Eye Cream. This is expensive. It's like 50-ish dollars, which is a lot. And it I kind of cringe when I think about spending that on like skincare. But when you really think about it, like that's where you should be spending the most money on skincare because that is the canvas to your makeup, and that's what's going to help stop you from, you know, getting wrinkles and aging as, as quickly and stuff like that. So you really want to invest in, I think, skincare and eye cream especially. So I got this mainly because I noticed like really fine lines underneath my eyes when I would smile and take pictures and I hated that. So I picked this up for that because it's wrinkle resistance as said. So I felt that would be good. You guys, literally after like a few weeks of using this, I noticed those lines like totally went away. And I still have, you know, like natural lines when I smile, but they're not crazy intense like they were. This just helps so much. If you don't have an eye cream and you think that you're, you know, young, you don't need one right now, highly recommend getting one investing in a good one because it's all about prevention at this age and you want to take care of your eyes now because they're the only eyes you have and it's just all about prevention. So um, I have a few that I'm going through right now. I kind of alternate between them because I'm just like an eye cream fanatic now and I just constantly want a new one but this has been the one I have to recommend because I just feel like it gave me the best results. So that's all for like makeup and stuff. I have to mention a tanning product. This is the St. Mora's Instant Selfing Tanning Mousse. This is the one dark. I do use the medium one but I kind of prefer the dark one because it just gives me the best I think t overall tan. It just lasts the longest and I just like the color of it. You can get this at Ulta for like $12 I think, $12 or $13. And it's just really good. I haven't tried the um, St. Tropez one that everyone loves, but it's so expensive I just don't really care to try it because I like this so much. I just love the tan this gives me. Um, I do use a mint with it. This is just the Ulta brand mint, but I really do like the um, Viva Liberata one that you can get from Sephora, and they're the same price, so I would get that one over this one. Just an amazing tanner. If you need a new tanner, I highly recommend trying this one. It's just awesome, and it lasts like a week, so really good stuff. For hair, I'm just going to mention a few products. This first one is this whole line of shampoo and conditioners. This, this is the Matrix Biolage Ultra Hydrosource. I really like all of Biolage's products, but I like the Hydrosource one I think the most just because my hair gets really dry and brittle and just, I get like really knotty hair sometimes. My hair is very fine, but I have a lot of it. So it like knots up and tangles very easily. So I really like anything that's very like hydrating. And I just love Biologist products. I've just noticed such a huge difference in my hair with them. They're awesome. And this is a hairspray that I've been using pretty much the entire year, maybe even last year. This is the L'Oreal El Nat Satin Hairspray. What I love about this is that it brushes right out. So if you put it on one day and you want to kind of recurl your hair, you don't have to worry about that crunchy feeling and having to rewash your and everything. You can literally just brush it out and the hairspray just dissolves and goes away. It's awesome. So I love this and it's kind of expensive. I think it's like $15, but it's a big bottle. It lasts me forever. And it's totally worth it because it makes my curls stay in all night, but I don't have to worry about washing my hair every day after I curl my hair, so. And yeah, so those were all of my standout products, you guys. Like I said, I didn't have, like, a thing from every category. Like, I didn't have a standout bronze or anything like that just because I went through a few this year. And there wasn't one that, I, like, I feel like you have to run out and get right now, so... Yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, though, for anything that you think that I would like, definitely leave them down below and let me know your favorite products from last year. And I'd love to check them out. And uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and enjoyed it. And I think that's about it. So I really hope you guys liked this video. And I will see you in my next one.
Bye.